compression, we started talking about a little bit, compression is something that we'll also see in malware analysis, whether it be for packet capture, command and control on the wire, or for parts of the malware itself. Zlib is a common algorithm, so I figured it was worth bringing up here. If you see a sequence of bytes that starts off with 78 and then is one of these other ones that looks like a Zlib header that the uh, Zlib algorithm puts onto the beginning of Zlib compressed data. Uh, these, these are not the only um, the header has various options, so these, these are certainly not the only values, but these are the most common that I've seen, um, especially that first one. The first one is, I think, the default options. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. I'll, I'll you know, be looking at I mean, packet capture is, is a good example. I'll be looking at packet capture, and I'll see, uh, you know, 16 or 32 or however many bytes into the packet, a 789C, and I'll go, oh, there's some Zlib compressed data here. Or I'll be looking at, at a binary blob that starts off with you know, 789C. Um, something to be aware of, it can help out. Um, another, and I'll, I'll just bring this up and show you, another thing that will detect it is PEID. Just to give you a uh, show you that it does actually do that. Grab this, copy PID, crypto analyzer. Oh, is that the wrong one? Okay, implant. Huh. I apparently have the wrong one on the wiki. Well, I know that one of these other ones had it. That was, no, wasn't that one. Yeah, this is probably it, because, you know, everything in the kitchen sink in this one. Sha. Oh, it was not that one either. Ah, Zlib. Ah, I knew I'd find it. Zip2 as well. Zip2 encryption. Ooh. But it does detect the data. If it's seeing some, uh, this is literal code space values used to build the trees. So some see that stuff that it detected. Let's see Clover. I mean, just make a quick note to uh, make sure I edit the wiki. Okay. 